pin in the beat em up Wait, side scroll in the punisher back. and more exactly how I feel right now. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. You're probably thinking, JR, you really gonna sit here and talk about a 15 second clip, essentially, almost, pretty much. Hopefully, I can play without getting copyrighted. But still, nonetheless, you're probably thinking, are you really gonna talk about this shit? Like, in all seriousness, just one small bit of her coming back in any shape and form? Yes! Are you serious? Absolutely. My brain was literally, when I saw this, I was just kind of in disbelief. I was just like, how? How? How is this pop? How did y'all pull this shit? But then at the same time, it's not surprising for an anime to pull this because Gintama did it. Gintama does it a lot. However, I've never seen it like they did it, right? And actually be able to make it without, you know, all the parody bullshit. They just like straight up like, this is School Days. This is Street Fighter, basically. Or whatever thing they did the Street Fighter gimmick. And apparently, we can just have reason here because why not? So, yes, I was in a panic mode because of how they just threw Rias in this bitch. Keep in mind, we haven't seen anything related to High School DXD animated wise in six years. We haven't seen it in six years. We have not seen this redhead fine piece of ass in six years now, of course i'm gonna be excited that's like when you're trying to wait on the whole kingdom hearts 3 wait to me this is equivalent to that because it's been a good six years bitch it's been a pretty much good six years and you mean to tell me i should calm down hell no there is no possible way and then what's crazier is i was trying to look up who made vtuber legend you know the anime where this reference came from and apparently it's TNK, so this makes a whole lot of sense now. I mean, honestly, but the thing is, I thought they was gonna, I thought they would never pull this shit because of how, you know, how um, DXC Born kind of came out and how, I, you know, it wasn't accurate. I, I honestly thought, you know, things were just soured with them and TNK, with how they kind of did stuff. You know, I thought, I thought they were never gonna bring them back in some shape and form with DXC, but. Yeah, and even with the new art style, the newish take on Reus and such, it's still not bad, man. And in fact, I'd argue that it's a bit better than Passione. Just a bit. I ain't trying to dog wall Passione or nothing like that, but it, it, even with the new design, I like how more red Reus' hair is in this than what Passione did. And keep in mind, too, it's been six years since we've seen Reus or anything DXZ related in animated form by Real Deal Studios at all in a long ass period of time. So imagine my surprise when TNK put up this whole thing in this reference in this episode. They haven't touched DXD since 20, I think 2015? So it's been nine years since they have touched DXD in any shape and form or capacity, at least in this sort of spectrum of animated stuff, right? So, again, it's crazy. I 2024 has been the weirdest effing year. It has been. There ain't no damn way was I expecting this at all, sir. But this tells me some things, right? Potentially, this tells me some things. I'm about to break this shit down to you. Like, this is some, some effing equations that you cannot understand. Now, it's like, since TNK can copy, you know, the art style of what Rhea technically is supposed to look like in you know, the light novel, whatever. If you ask me, like, I don't know why I'm stunned right there, but because I'm shocked. But like, if you ask me, is the possibility of DXZ returning to TNK in some shape and form, like, likely? Kinda! Pretty much, I would say so. If we ever get DXZ again, it could still go to Passione, but it could still go back to TNK too, right? Sure, it's not gonna be the same old art style as it was, right? Don't get me wrong, I think a lot of people will still want that, but if it, if it's done by TNK and, you know, they don't hold back like they used to and it's still pretty damn good, I mean, if, yeah, give me that shit. Especially if TNK has cleaned up their act over the years and not necessarily mess up different anime now and they still pretty good, yeah, give me TNK again, 100%, right? Again, it's not going to be the same art style, but it's going to still be pretty damn good. So, absolutely, dude. Do I think TNK can come back? <laughs> Obviously. I mean, they wouldn't be able to pull this stunt if it wasn't for that. So, 
Yeah, that's pretty effing crazy, dude. Like, you gotta understand. Like, and I think for a lot of you guys that obviously know me, you would know why this is like a huge deal, or at least in some shape or form it is, even if there is nothing coming soon with when it comes to DXD. But still, to me, you gotta know, DXD is my second favorite anime of all time. So when it comes down to it, hell yes, I'm excited. To me, as you saw in the beginning, this is my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 moment. This is literally how I feel. So when it comes down to it, of course I'm hella excited. Of course. So does this mean DXD Season 5 coming soon? Probably not. Hopefully it will be sometime announced, but I we don't have any information on that. So I don't think we're getting a Season 5 anytime soon as far as I'm aware. But when it comes down to it, though, can TNK also step up to the plate and do it as well? Again, very likely now. It's ultimately very likely now, right? So that's just how that goes. It can still go in the hands of Passione, but it's it, it could also go back in the hands of TNK. And I ain't gonna lie, just off that alone, and just also with Rias throwing the actual like ball of energy and being destructive as hell. Not gonna lie, I missed it. I missed those heavy hitting effects when it comes down to it, right? Something that didn't hit hard in Passione's version. So that's kind of, if anything, that if we get anything back by TNK, they know how to do some fights, at least when it came down to DXC's whole way of doing things. So if we can get that going, I'm for it, 100%. But really quickly, just wanted to talk about that because this shit was wild. This shit is wild and it just, again, it's been enough time has passed. Welcome back, Rias. Just gonna keep that stack. Honestly, also there was like an Asia card that was on the table of the game that the VTuber was playing, which is also very funny as hell. And there's also like Toka from Data Live for some reason. I think, at least I think it was, right? So that was also kind of crazy. Again, it just goes to show you, bitch, we could have this shit back but no one is trying to actively champion this shit. And it's so, it's so annoying, man. Just give me a DXZ game or something. Just a, a console game. Give me something, because dog, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, man. But that's how I feel. That's kind of how it is for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification and way else. Also follow my socials and like this channel. Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. Until then, this boy Jay, sign off. Have a blessed day.